from MLU headquarters in Philadelphia. This is Cleats and Cufflinks. All right, so we're here from the new uh, the new recording live stream. Well, not live, a tapey. There's nothing live about it. Okay, well, it's live. We're never I doing this live. Okay. I don't trust you. What are you talking about? You're not this live. <laughs> I, don't, I don't trust you. Now look at your, your brain and your mouth connection. <laughs> so it's been a while since yeah. we've done this. We've been together. It's been quite a while. And I'd like to say that just as this overall statement of why it's been a while, it's because you are the worst. That's, it's probably, it's probably 90% true. Mm -hmm. We also have been doing some traveling. We've been um, doing, yeah, but you got doing sick. Doing some other work. You I'm got, just going to distract you from. You got plague sick. I did get plague sick. I got briefly plague sick. We were ready to record and you got plague sick. Yep. You that was unpleasant. You were, things were coming out of you and all. It was terrible. It was bad. It was bad. I, uh, I was fine. Yeah, well, your immune system. Robust. Very, very strong. Even germs can't stand to be near you. <laughs> well, germs just adore you. <laughs> they love me. Very lovable. So what we're going to do is we're going to now recording this with our, because it's people will need to see these faces. That's what we determined. Yeah. So we did a poll. I don't right? think we're right, but we determined that. <laughs> I thought yes. we did a poll of a couple million people. We asked at least two people. Okay. And they both said we would like to see your faces. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, my sense that possibly they just want to see us uh, fail more visibly. I'm in front of people. I'm yeah. So we're going to post uh, segments up onto YouTube so they can they can watch us. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. I like that. Okay, so look, lots of things have happened since we uh, we last were together. Uh, I went to uh, the DC Current Championship party. Oh yeah, I think at the Green Turtle. Yeah, you did get to go to that. It was good. Any now, nice time? I've learned. Uh, I did. I did have a good time. Good. They're all good people there. The whole crew was there. I got to meet uh, Matt Dewhurst's wife. Okay. Right? And, uh, and Mrs. Dewey? Mrs. Dewey. And she's so cool. Right? I didn't think Dewey could, to, could get cool, but he got <laughs> so cool. Expect right? No, he, he agrees yeah. with us. He's like, did he outkick his coverage yeah, a little bit, is what you're did, saying. He okay. She was so great. So and lots of people there. It was great. Coach uh, Maldonado wasn't there, which is a bummer. Oh, that's, that's a shame. shame. But one thing I learned, I learned about this. So I'm wearing, a, I'm wearing a, a button shirt. Yeah. I learned about the different types of buttons you can have. So if you button your shirt all the way up to the top, you know, the, the collar's buttoned? Yeah. That's called a Damaray, after Paul Damaray. I don't, think, I don't no, think that's true. No, he buttons them all the way to the top. He does go to the top. So he's a, that's a Damaray button. Is it, who did you learn this from? I, I, well, I invented it. Oh, okay. Half an hour <laughs> I you learned it from yourself. If you if you do just one button, that's Darling. That's, that's Darling. That's your standard Darling. I do a single button. Yeah. Two buttons, it's a Snader. Yeah, you like to show yeah. off a little bit of the chest. Three buttons or more is a Shofter. That's a Shofter. <laughs> he, just, he can't button it. goes right shirt. down to the belly yeah, button. He just, it, none yeah. of his shirts are. Just button them up. He's a good looking kid, but come on. Yeah. Just, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, that's now you know when you look at somebody, you can you can determine if they have a Dame Ray, a Darling, a Snader, or a Shofter. And a Shofter, yeah. right? It's good so, to know. It's good to know. Good. I feel like I, I feel like I've learned something already today. So there you we're go. off to a good start. Uh, we had uh, we know we did have a good time. The bar tab was uh, did not get me in trouble. I stayed in budget. You stayed in budget. But let's just say I I was right on it. <laughs> <laughs> if there was a dartboard. I hit the, the red circle. You're right in the red double bullseye, bullseye yeah. in terms so, of hitting your budget for bar time. I like they that. drink a lot over there. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's that kind of town. There's, there's good beverages, good beer down in D.C. Was, I like was, to get down there. Now, the funny story, which is not funny, but it will bring you joy. I'm looking forward to it. I'm with our, our dear MLU Greg. MLU Greg. And I'm with our dear MLU Tom. MLU Tom. The shortest and the tallest guy in the office. That is funny. There it is. I always yeah. bring. Well, I like that variation. <laughs> we leave the party at ten forty-five. Yes. To go get our car, so we can drive yes. home. Yes. But our car is in a parking garage, and the parking garage is locked. <laughs> Every door, <laughs> completely shut. <laughs> so we there's a, and there's a little there's a little voice box thing. I see this makes. Thank you. I'm so glad you have it. Little well, voice box thing. You press a little button so you can talk to somebody. Yeah, yeah. Just ask them how things are going in there. And take you, it unlock the door. Yeah, that kind of thing. And, and you press a little button. The person got back to us three four seconds. Impressive how quickly they got back to us <laughs> to tell us that there was no chance whatsoever that they were going to open that door. I'm like, why did you respond so quickly? I would rather that you took 15 minutes yeah. and to come right back and say, I'm here. I'm or ready. even not at all. Like, give me a recording. Yeah. But if you're, why are you so ready to answer my question, but not at all willing to let me to my car? Where is that person is kind of my question. Where is the garage intercom person? I don't know. Hmm. So they wouldn't let us in our car. So we slept in a hotel, which uh, that was fun. Yeah, I remember the next day. Uh, that you guys weren't there in the morning because I had a meeting some confusion. Yeah, so we were, it was it was it was painful. <laughs> so then after that, after that, uh, f very fun party again with there's pictures actually. Uh, Schaffner and Button me to a Schaffner buttoning, yeah. which I was like, oh come on, yeah. you can be a little nice than that. It wasn't mm -hmm. that bad. I was all right. No one should Schaffner me. Okay, I should yeah, just say. Let's Snader. just admit that <laughs> Snader's the right spot for you. It's, it's actually probably one. You might want to move up to Darling. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh man, I want you to get sick again. Um, so after that, I I, I went to uh, to the New York party. It was really part of the New York gathering. Cause I'm going around and seeing, meeting all the teams. Yeah, it's important. I talk about the 2015 season. Get out to the West Coast too, too of I course. Think, right? Yeah, of course. That uh, end of the year, beginning of the year, right? So, got to see all the familiar faces. Michelle Kondracki. They also had uh, Anthony Duarte, the new assistant GM. Remember him? Oh yeah, I know. But funny Anthony how things Duarte, come around. Yeah, I've talked to him I'll for tell years. Tell you what, um, coach was there. Lots of players, of course. Mazer, nice guy. He's like the nicest guy. In the He's world. a very nice guy. So. Always taller than I expect him to be. There's something about how nice he is that makes me think he's going to be short. And then I see him, I'm like, you're, he's not a tall man, but, but he's, he's taller than I expect. He's he's right. that way. For a ginger, he's yeah, kind of tall. For, for a gingy. <laughs> now, I took uh, I took Dave Pennepacker with me. You did? So he was my... I didn't know that Dave went with you. I'm going to give him a shout-out because he drove me there, and I got sick because of you. I don't think that was my fault. That was your fault. I'm sick, so I'm not feeling well at all. But, I, you know, I stuck it out. I, I did my job, unlike you. Um, what? What did I say? So I... Uh, <laughs> I uh, I went there and he drove me there and back and we actually we stopped for Burger King we had a nice dinner today. chauffeur penny packer chauffeur penny packer right. now here's what makes me happy oh boy this is gonna I'm a little this is concerned. something I have on you for the rest of my life is at one point someone said how come Nick Darling is just sitting at the end of the table and not talking to anybody <laughs> <laughs> they thought you were him that made me so happy. They mistaked you for Dave Oh, Pennypacker. that is. It hurts a little bit. I never told you that story till right now, live on air. It's not live. I know. No, live on air. no offense to Dave, but that's the worst thing you've said to me. <laughs> <laughs> no offense, Dave. It's, uh, uh, it sounds it, offensive, but no offense. It, to, to, what? Even though, even though it's very funny, it was only one guy, and all the rest of the guys were like, that's not Nick, you idiot. How dark but, was it? Was it really dark? It was dark. It was the Frankfurt Hall of, uh, of New York. Oh, you were in one of the beer gardens. Mm -hmm. So if you. Uh, Oh, I don't know how to describe it. Maybe you can describe it. But if you're in Philly, Frankfurt Hall is pretty much the coolest place you can go to in Northern, Northern Liberty's area, right? It's like an like uh, outdoor and indoor. It's, it's certainly time. a place we like. Yeah, a little indoor, outdoor beer gardens, ping pong tables. And German, it's all German. German beers. So this, this and some local thing. stuff, too. This is, and a, German food. So this is the same German thing. food, brats. If you're in Philly, you got to go to Frankfurt Hall. In fact, we're there once a day. <laughs> <laughs> so that's not a bad thing. That's a good thing. So those are my trips. How about you? What, you? what have you been doing with yourself there? <laughs> well, I mean, we've been, uh, you know, it's been a busy time period, obviously, as it always is. And we, we went down to the uh, US DGC, oh, the US awesome. Disc Golf Championships down in uh, South Carolina, just just in South Carolina, just a little, little below uh, Rock Hill, I believe. Rock Hill, South mm -hmm. Carolina, a little below Charlotte. <laughs> and you and I went down there, a nice invite from the, uh, from the good people at Innova. And yes. uh, it was a, I can tell you what, what an event, what a well-run really? event. Um, and what an, we, we've, we traveled around the course with the final grouping on the final day and had everything. It was drama, really lead changes, a, a thousand people walking around the course, watching these guys play with us. Uh, just really, uh, really a great time. Yeah. I mean, it was a cool event. $50,000 purse there. Uh, from Innova. Fifty thousand dollar purse. Yeah, it was the world. I, people are gonna get mad at me for saying this, but if you play ultimate frisbee, you should go to the USDGC, and then you should see what how they do, and then you should, you're, you'll be like, oh, wow, that's something. That is the way. That's what it should be done. Like it was awesome. Yeah, it was a very very good time, very cool event, and you know it's the first time I've been to a professional disc golf event, and I, I was too. astounded by the the ability of the people out there. They're so good. Yeah, it's really trans. I mean, I was telling him that I said any you should get any frisbee player out here because it is so easy to respect what they can do with a disc, and it looks so hard. And it, at the same time, it's not as hard as golf, where you can just you know you can just not hit a golf ball at all and hit it to the woods. So you you can lose a, a disc in disc golf, but you're still you're still going to get there and not be terrible. But to be good is ridiculous. Yeah, it's a it, you make a good point. Uh, I think as a recreational sport, it's fantastic. Like if you guys haven't played disc golf, which I assume probably most of you have at some point, get out there and play. And you can take anyone because they're not going to be so frustrated that they want to kill you by the end of it. Right. Uh, right. Unlike real golf, which can certainly be that way, which I also love. Yeah. Real golf is great, but it's just way harder. Like it's, it takes, it's if you take a novice, someone who's never played golf before, it's just like, look, you're going to swing at it and we'll, and we'll just we'll pick it up eventually yeah. and carry it to the green for you. And this would be similar. I mean, it's hard. 
It is but hard. If, you can throw, if you're a frisbee player, you won't you won't be terrible. Yeah. I mean, you won't be so bad that it'll be frustrating. You'll be terrible. Yeah, and get really get out there to uh, to Dick's or to you know online any place you can buy the uh, the that three the disc kit. set the starter kit that they have for disc golf yes. little driver mid range putter. Give it a go. Which I'm going to brag about and say they sent us uh, starter kits that had more than three discs. Well, we must we're, be we're pretty special. Yes, we're very <laughs> special. Should we get into our first segment? Yeah, we, we, we've been speaking for quite a while. I, I think that'd be a good idea. Okay. Uh, so we have uh, four segments today. First one, we're going to talk about MLU PAC. Yeah. So if you don't know what that is, take a guess right now. It's not a political you. action committee. I'm going to tell you that much right now. We're it's, getting there. Our lobbying efforts will begin soon, lobbying. but we're not quite. That's 2016. 2016. Yeah. That's yeah. yeah. good. Segment two, we're going to talk about the 2015 season budget. Not an overview. Overview. Yeah, yeah, we're, we're going to go gonna, line by line. We're not going to send out a spreadsheet. spreadsheet. <laughs> yeah, everybody open your spreadsheets. 2000, no, 2003. Segment three. Segment three. <laughs> is an interview with David Kuchelapati. Yeah. Who's uh, got a new position. Oh, right yeah. Now. Congratulations. Well, well, well deserved. We'll get, we'll get to it. We'll get to it. And segment four is questions. Questions. Okay. Questions asked, questions answered. There we go. Yeah. 